Hi, this is Gregory from Code for Fun and we are on lesson 6 of our Python and Drones course. In this lesson we are going to learn how a drone's video camera can be used to detect and count human faces. Um, according to our lesson scenario we have a huge exhibition and a huge line of people queuing to enter the exhibition. Can drones be used to count how many people are there in the line? According to our scenario we will try to do the following. We will put uh, our students like this facing the drone. Our drone will take off and try to count how many faces it can see phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. The drone will be flying backward all the time, seeing whether it can actually see all the people because there may be seven, or maybe eight. Uh, and as long as it counts everyone, it will land and report how many faces it could see. We're going to use OpenCV library for this, for face detection. OpenCV, Open Computer Vision Library, is a very famous uh, library written for these kind of tasks. And it's great to learn about this technology right now. Begin by navigating to the following URL and downloading the frontal face cascade. This file contains pre-trained data that OpenCV uses to classify what a face is. Save the cascade file and our code into the same folder. We will start by importing the Tello library and the Time library. We will also import CV2, which contains computer vision functionality. We will read the face cascade data using CV2's cascade classifier function. Ensure you type the file name of the XML file. We will set the face count to zero and start the video. We will continuously check if the video is turned on. If so, we will store the frame and use CV2's convert color function to turn it grayscale. Grayscale images are easier for face detection because there is only one color channel to process rather than three, RGB, red, green, blue. We will use the detect multi-scale function to detect faces of various sizes. Our faces variable will act as an array that stores all the faces. It requires the grayscale frame, scale factor set to 1.1 mean neighbors set to 5, mean size set to 30 by 30 pixels, and the flag CV2 cascade scale image. Finally, we will store the number of faces in a face count variable and print it out. In this lesson, we are going to test face detection algorithms, so therefore we put two faces on the on the wall you can use printed images or you can use students faces and we will test both scenarios so for now we will just test our code without flying just holding our drone um, basically in my hands and I will be pointing the drone to these faces and see if the drone can actually count how many faces it sees so I will launch my code the video should start Right, the drone clearly sees one face. Now I will take the drone a bit further. Hopefully it sees two faces now. Now it sees two faces. Perfect. At the top, we will add another variable called max faces. This will be a running counter for the maximum number of faces it has spotted. We will launch the drone and wait three seconds. Instead of printing out the number of faces, we will first check if it has spotted more faces than the maximum count. If so, we will print out how many more it sees. We will then set the maximum faces to this new maximum value. We will move the drone backwards and wait two seconds. Before this condition, we will check if the number of faces still matches the maximum and that number isn't zero. This means there are no new people it sees. We will wait three seconds, land, then wait another three seconds, print the final count of faces and break out the loop. 
Now let's program our drone to fly from that point and see if it can count one, two, three faces. Let's see how many faces it has seen. Total count, three. Beautiful, that's exactly what we want. For an extension task, try googling other OpenCV cascades that have been created. Try looking for rise. Or see if the drone can work out how high somebody is by using the upper body cascade and flying up until it cannot detect the upper body. Students can discuss topics such as what kind of issues do civilians' drones equipped with facial recognition pose on society? What is your stance on civilians' drones?